Hi there, so today I'm going to be making a dish that I call queso chicken. Um, it's basically uh, chicken breast or chicken thighs, you can use either one. Um, and then um, a bunch of veggies, all topped with uh, my queso sauce that I make. So all you're going to do to get started is go ahead and cook some, start the chicken cooking 350 while we chop up some of the veggies. And I will go ahead and pop that in the oven and then pull all the veggies out so you can see. Okay, so once the chicken has been in the oven for a little bit, which by the way, I forgot to mention, I put a little bit of like, um, like a Cajun type seasoning on the chicken. Um, so once that's been in the oven, you've now got your veggies all chopped up. You're gonna just go ahead and add those into the pan. Now, I chopped my veggies extremely thick for this very reason, because I'm going to go ahead and put it in with the chicken, which is not cooked yet. So uh, the veggies need to be on the thicker side so that they don't end up completely mushy, um, staying in the oven as long as the chicken needs to cook. So you're just going to top those right in there. All right, so this is what it's going to look like with the veggies in there. And then I just topped it off with a little bit of avocado oil on top of the veggies and the chicken, which I already had a little bit of avocado oil on the chicken to begin with. Um, so I'm just going to pop this back in the oven at 350. Uh, usually my chicken, it takes about an hour or so to cook. Um, and I like my veggies pretty well done, not mushy but well done, and this is gonna give me the exact type of veggies that I'm looking for. Okay, so while that is still cooking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the queso sauce. Um, and I have just about everything I need for it right here, except for the uh, rotel, which I'll get out whenever it's time for it. Um, so we have sour cream, butter, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, and American cheese. I'm going to begin by um, melting just a couple of pats of butter, like probably about two, t two tablespoons, uh, because I don't need to make too much <laughs> for my individual plates. All right, and once the butter is completely melted down, you're going to go ahead and add the heavy whipping cream in. Again, I don't usually traditionally mother measure things um, I just kind of eyeball it and you can't really go too terribly wrong with these so I'll go ahead and add in a um, small pat of the cream cheese and you can see the size of the cream cheese that I just put in there and then I'm just gonna put in a, hmm, I wouldn't say heaping spoonful, but just, you know, a general spoonful of sour cream. So about like this. I like to keep things as simple as I can whenever I'm cooking. Baking is a different story. Baking has to be pretty precise, um, but cooking, you can kind of just eyeball things and taste test to see if you need more of something or less. Um, so my way of cooking is very simplified, eyeballing, home cooking. So what you're going to do when you add those in is you're just going to turn the heat up high so that those can melt down. And then we're going to add in the, uh, American cheese. And be sure when it's on high heat, you need to constantly be stirring it like this to make sure nothing burns and nothing sticks to the bottom. You also don't need it to be on high heat for very long. Like, this is good. All right, and once you have kind of smushed out all of the lumps, like the cream cheese and the sour cream, and it's all pretty much smooth, um, then you're just going to slowly start adding in the American cheese. So once the American cheese has melted in and it's looking more like a, a yellow like queso, you're gonna go ahead and add in the Rotel. Now I happen to have an open can of Rotel 
that I used for other things. So I'm just going to add that, including some of the juice. And just blend that in and you may need to cook off some of the excess liquid to help it thicken up a little bit more but there is your queso sauce already and done and uh, once I pull the chicken and the veggies out of the oven I'll show you the final product all right so I just pulled it out of the oven as you can see, um, they the veggies and everything have a nice like char roast to them. Um, I ended up cooking it at 350 for about an hour and a half uh, just because I wanted to make sure, number one, the chicken was done, and number two, that the veggies were cooked well enough. So I'll go ahead and plate some up and show you what the final product looks like. And so here we have the final product. I just spooned on some of the queso on top and voila. It is definitely one of my favorite go-to meals. Super easy, just pop it in the oven. The queso sauce is super easy to make and you just like put it in there and forget it. All right, so you guys make sure to let me know what you think. And be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to see all the new recipes I'm going to be coming out with. Thanks so much!